What's up guys, it is me, Matt Summary for here for my last video of May's PS Plus Plays. And our last game is Wreckfest. Uh, now, for May and for this game, we've been given the PS5 version only. But I don't have a PS5 yet. But I do have a PS Now subscription and Wreckfest, the PS4 version, is on there. So I thought, why not? I'll do it. I'll play it because I can just I can kind of do a video on it. It's not going to be the same because obviously it's going to look nicer and perform a bit better on the PS5. But I thought, why not? I'll do it. And at a late date, when I've got a PS5, when I do my roundup of all the stuff I wasn't able to do, I will add this on there. So yeah, Wreckfest. Uh, this is something I've kind of seen and I thought it looked all right. And now when I'm looking at its all Wikipedia page, it says it's described as the spiritual successor to the Flat Out series. Now, the Flat Out series is something I do know. Uh, I did have the uh, was it Flat Out 2 Ultimate Carnage, whatever it was on that Xbox 360, which was very enjoyable. I really liked that game. That was very much fun, but I haven't played any of the others. And it also says it's a cross between Flat Out and Destruction Derby. Now, that's two... Uh, that's two things for my idea, which is pretty good. The Destruction Derby series has been long forgotten by Sony for some reason. Uh, it's a shame. Ho hopefully, maybe one day they might do something with Destruction Derby. But anyway, until then, we've got this. So yeah, it's going to be interesting to give us a go. Uh, I haven't really got around to doing anything on PS uh, now yet, So, but I've just quickly downloaded it. It's not a massive game to download, it was under 12 gigs. Um, so yeah, looking forward to jumping into this and see what, what it's like. I know, I'm pretty sure this is already or was on Game Pass. Uh, I'm not sure if it's still on Game Pass. Um, so if you've got have got a PlayStation, you can play it on Game Pass if it's still there. But it's on PS Now if you don't have a PS5, but have a PS Now subscription. So anyway, let's jump in and have a little go of it. So to start things off, we're going to do a little bit of career. Uh, so we have one, we have regional juniors available. Uh, so let's jump in there and let's jump into the, sh the first one. Uh, challenge eat uh, see what's that all about all right start here we go so this is a, a, a demolition uh, stage and uh, it looks like I'm driving a, a little lawnmower which is quite hilarious I have to say uh, first of all um, graphically it's nothing really special it's it's okay um, but other than that, it's it's just okay looking. Oh my god, people go flying off it. A little bit buggy when people when it's people are respawning on their little uh, lawn mowers. Is they just randomly disappear, and the body is just a. Uh, kind of flicker and then appear back on there but uh, pretty hilarious um, uh, I'll be interested to see how much better this game looks on the PS5 version um, I assume it's going to look a bit nicer but I can't see it being out of this world much better Jesus, who come up with this idea? Honestly, who who came up with this idea of like, all right, let's let's uh, do like a destruction derby, but um, but all all the tr all the oh, we, we're driving on uh, on like lawn mowers. Oh 
Oh, I still haven't been knocked off, which I'm actually really surprised with. I've, I've managed to hang in, hang in there. Like, I didn't mind the original uh, uh, Destruction Derby game, but I feel like with Destruction Derby, it was it was the second one on the PS One, which was I thought that game was awesome because uh, it was a bit more or less like a really like actual race uh, racing kind of like orientated. Uh, it was a, a lot of fun that game. Uh, and you know what, if, if, if Sony aren't going to do it and someone else is going to do it, you know what, good good on them. Oh. So have I just got like a knock people off their bikes? Uh, to to score, I'm assuming. Here we go. What oh, I came first. My rec ratio was forty to zero. I'll I'll take that any day. I right, continue. All right, get a load of experience. Some moolah, yes, thank you. On to the next race, got some credits. I've got a locked up vehicle, nice natural born wreckers. So, is there any actual race uh, type? Uh, so, what's this? All right, so this is more of a race stage. Here we go, in the race, in the race. Come on, let's do it. All right, let's see what it looks like in the car. All right, yeah, you don't have much of a uh, view in the car. There's no, you don't see any hands on the wheel, which is not good, but you can tell by the, uh, the steering wheel, it's, it doesn't look too great. Yeah, oh, it looks very grainy on the bonnet. It does. But it still looks pretty good. It's just, it, you know what, it's not like a massive budget game, to be honest. You know, I'm not sure what the team, it, the team is like. You know, how many people are there. Oh wow, this is only three laps. Oh, I've screwed that up. We'll have to do it again. It's got a very kind of like rocky metal y soundtrack. Alright, let's do this again. This time I'm actually not going to be messing around, I'm going for the kill. Oh, but some of the car designs like this orange one by me, like what's with those two little cannons that it's got sticking out inside of it? It's bonnet. Yeah, you gotta love it when they kind of really go full on with the destruction of vehicles. Come on, come on, come on. I'm going to do this. Yeah, it'd be really interesting to see like a side-by-side -side comparison. There might be something on YouTube. Uh, oh, really? I'll just take it. I'll take the third. Oh, okay. It's like a... It's like a tournament I've entered. Oh, uh, okay. That's a bit better. Got more chance of coming first then. Because I did more start at the back of the crib uh, on the first race.
Yeah, it's yeah, it is not like a super pretty uh, looking racing game. It's no like Gran Turismo or like Forza Horizon type game. Uh, you know, it, it, in some aspects, it probably wouldn't look out of sort on a uh, on a on a PS3, to be honest. Uh, but it's not overly terrible. It's just not overly great. Oh, really? I got bumped. Do I make it? Do I make it to the next round? Oh, I qualified. Oh, that's good. All right, it's time to go for the kill. Go for the win. There it is. It's time to go for it. To go for the jugular. Oh, seriously? That's a load of cock and ball. God damn it. Oh, at least this is six laps. That, that gives me a, a bit of a chance to make a comeback. But yeah, the car is actually hot. Uh, well, the car I'm driving anyway. How kind of handles rather. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. So not getting back into this race. So not getting back into it. Don't have like a boost or anything. Oh, you just have to be really careful going around that corner because you can really flip out. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, it's that corner. If you take it too much, too, too tightly, you can just flip yourself. Ah, it will do. It will do seventh. I'll just take it. Not, the, not my greatest achievement, but it is what it is. On to the next race. But, oh, look at the damage. God, that car's just smashed. Uh, Alright, let's go to a natural born wreckers demolition race. Spin out at least one opponent. Come on, let's do it. Oh, I'm all over the place. So how do I spit out an opponent? Well, you know what? Let's just focus on winning the race, I think. Uh, let's not worry about that. But yeah, he, he controls very well, you know. It's a, a quite a, a very enjoyable uh, game to be playing. Oh, does that count? And um, yeah, I am having quite a bit of fun with this. Because um, you know what, it's just it's, you know because it's so quite easy to just jump in and play. Uh, it's just a you know you can do your destruction derby kind of part. You can do a race part. You know. You, know, you have to be careful with the mud tracks because you know you do slip and slide across the tracks quite a bit. Or oh, can I catch up with him? Uh, but yeah, very very fun. Uh, and and you know what the uh, the detail and the destruction in the vehicles is pretty good. Like my windscreen is shot a crap. This car in front of me looks pretty tasty. I just 
smashed him into the wall. Yeah, this is good. I'm, I'm really liking it. Um, this was always something I had actually been looking at um, on the physical side of it, going, oh, that looked quite interesting. I wonder if I can get that for a nice price, but I never got around to getting it. Uh, will I get around to getting a physical of it? Mm, not sure now that I've got like a, a, a PS5 version uh, digitally, because this is definitely something where I get a, P a PS5. I definitely will be kind of giving it a go on PS5, because I feel like it'll be a lot of fun. Uh, and it'd be interesting to see if how much of an improvement graphically uh, will they be giving it, because I really do hope they kind of really put a little bit more, not that they haven't put an effort in to make it look like good-ish, but I would really like to see it like quite realistic wise, uh, that would be really good to see. Here we go, here we go. Um, Yeah, it's a it's a bit of a, a, a bit of a mystery why they only gave us the uh, I, I don't know. It probably cost they they probably charge more really in, in the end when they would kind of do it for PS4 and PS5. But I did notice when I was using the uh, PS uh, app on my uh, on my phone uh, to just kind of like uh, claim the PS5 version of this onto my account. And it did show me the uh, the base copy of this on the PS4 because uh, it said PS now, and then it had the price that scrubbed out, and it said ten thousand pound. I was like, "What the hell is that all about?" I made sure to take a screenshot of it because I found it quite hilarious. Uh, so yeah. yeah, that was a bit of an odd odd find. Very much not fine. So I'll do this race and then I'll, I'll do one more of the uh, uh, Destruction Derby type uh, race uh, tracks and then I will check out multiplayer, see what, if anyone's playing it online and then we'll give a final thoughts I think. Uh, but yeah, so far so good. You know, it's just controlling, the, well this car is just controlling pretty nicely. Uh, which is good because you want uh, racing games to be uh, pretty good. It's nice and responsive, you know. It's like you know, slightly arcade style. You know, I am seeing some kind of pop up on the background here, on the side of the course. Um, bit of a shame. It's not like you know, this game is like too uh, graphically demanding, so shouldn't really be ha be having those like simple issues uh, a bit of a shame but you know what can you do what can you do here we go crossing that finish line get in there thank you here we go here we go this is what I'm talking about utter utter chaos this is what this game is uh, got me right in it for was this chaos I'm trying to be there oh, oh my seriously you, you, I miss so many people oh and then I got smashed into oh no way Bam! Yeah, and it, it seems like there's quite a few cars uh, you can choose from, or you can purchase in the marketplace. Um, you know, and each car is very different in, uh, you know, their strength, this and that. Well, I'm just using the kind of the, the starter car they've given me. Um, Get in there, get out of my way. I haven't wrecked anyone yet. The lawnmower one was much easier to wreck. Oh my god.
bam, get in there. Oh, yeah. Oh, just look at my car. It's totally smashed. It's excellent. Yeah, just a lot of fun I'm having here. Oh, and somehow, some way, my car is is hanging in there. Oh my god, I'm not doing that well because I haven't, I haven't, I haven't wrecked anyone yet. And you can see, like, you know, this, this looks like a thing about your engine, your, uh, what's that, your gearbox, your suspension. They can all be just demolished, so your car just becomes just a, 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 hump, a hunk of trash. Alright, gotta reset, get out of there. Oh, getting stuck. Oh, get here. I see someone. I see someone. Yes, finally. Come on up. I've wrecked two. Can I get any more wrecks in before I die? Oh, I'm actually pretty amazed that I've managed to survive so far. Oh, and there's a contact timer, so if there's only a few of you left, that's pretty cool. So you're not aimlessly, technically, just wandering around, not doing anything. Like, does it does it help to be like the the, the last truck standing? Even though I haven't got as many wrecks than someone else. This guy's got quite a bit of health. And he's just like blanking me. Oh, my car. Jesus Christ, that's never going to pass this MOT. I do see some of the debris just floating in the air. Where is he? There he is. Boom. Hit him. Oh, I'm just amazed that I'm still going somehow. Come on. Come on, come on. Yeah, it's a lot of fun, but you know what the problem is when you get when you get down to this small amount of uh, of of vehicles left, it does become a little bit tedious. Cause it is like a cat and mouse, you're just like chasing after each other and just easily, easily kind of missing one another. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Do that again. Oh, nothing. That's what it's all about, doing that whole reset. There we go. Bam, T-bone. I'm looking in a, in a 
good position to take him out. Oh, how did we miss one another? Oh, who won? Oh, yes. Get in there. All right, we've done a bit of that. Let's, oh, we've got a custom event, so you can decide what you want want to do. Select car, and then options, last match, name, death match, team death match, difficulty, blah, 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 blah. All right, that's what I want to do. I want to check out the multiplayer, see what that is like. So multiplayer. Um, all right, let's just do a quick match. See if, how long it takes to get into a match. That's, that's the most important thing. Whether it be a race or a crash. There we go. Okay, so there's a race ongoing currently, uh, which is a bit of annoying. I thought I was going to come into a race. Uh, that you know was starting from the beginning, so it's kind of making me just watch the whole race, and it doesn't really give me any info on the race, which is a little bit annoying. Oh, here we go. Some people have got some sweet rides. So, oh God. And that's time for everyone to finish. So yeah, why not? You know what, let's start with our um, final thoughts. Uh, first off, uh, I have to say, the game controls very nicely. Uh, just the, the whole driving uh, is, is quite fun. It's not tedious. It's not a, a labour. It's just it's just a bit of fun uh, controlling the vehicles. It's very very fun. I have to say, uh, really enjoying it. Um, the, the only thing that is probably uh, where it's is slightly weak. Uh, it's um, is uh the graphics really? It's not very that strong on the graphical department at all. Here we go in the race now. Yeah, that's the only point that really is a bit weak in this game is the graphics. Really, it's nothing too great. Uh, the, oh my god, that car is amazing. Uh, the in ga uh, in car uh, kind of uh, details, it's, it doesn't look that good. Uh, but you know, it's saving grace for this game. Isn't its graphics? It's its gameplay. It's just really fun uh, to play, is, and it played very well. So, oh my god! Um, so it, it, that's where this game really kind of excels. Uh, and uh, I will be interested to see what this looks like on the PS5 because uh, I kind of do hope that it, they've really done a bit of an overhaul and made it look really really good because um, I feel like if they got that then you've got a really amazing uh, looking and an amazingly fun game because um, I'm having a blast playing this whether it's just like the race part or what are you on about? Um, yeah, it's just a, a, a lot of fun uh, to play. It's just not uh, too great to, to look at because it's just not that much of a pretty game. Uh, so aside from that, um, yeah, this is this is very fun. There's plenty of modes. You know, any game where you can drive as a uh, as a, a lawnmower in a kind of like a destruction derby match, you've always got my vote. Uh, that's 
really, really, really good. Uh, and I'm just getting demolished in this race. Um, yeah, it's they've done they've done very very well with this game, and I can see why it's got uh, it's got quite positive reviews. Um, you know, it's, it says it's got very positive, but when you go onto it's like a Metacritic. Uh, Metacritic is sitting at an eighty-two, uh, so it's scored it scored well with with uh, most critics. This user score is a seven. Yeah, and I can kind of understand that, um, but it's a very, very fun game to play. Uh, you know, the the multiplayer I got in straight away with multiplayer, and it's it's seeming like it's pretty stable. You know, nothing's in and out uh, all over the place, uh, which is really good. Um, you know. I, I, I'm just terrible at it, and there's plenty of content here. There's a lot of cards to like unlock, and you can do a whole all the modifications uh, on the cards, uh, which is pretty good. It's just it's they've put a lot of effort into it, just not on the graphics. Uh, but you know, graphics don't always make it a great game. They just help, really. They just help you uh, like to to look at it. And uh, oh, critical damage, and you know they didn't do that, but hopefully PS5 has that, as I've said. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy with this. Uh, I think I, if I was to give this a game score, I think I would. I think I'll go for. Uh, I, I'll I'll give it like a, uh, a three quarters of a thumb up. Really not a whole thumb up because I feel like the graphics let, do let it down. But everything else about this game is is really good. So I'm going to give the game score a three quarter of a thumb up. Uh, that's good. So the offering score, well, I think like this is actually a pretty good offering. Uh, I'm having a, a blast here. So for me, the offering score is going to be one thumb up. So I'm very, very, very happy with that. Uh, now we've like gone through and played all the games and scored them. Uh, we should really uh, do a, a over a look of uh, May's game. So start off with we have Battlefield Five. Uh, I thought it was quite good. It was nice, and good online play. Uh, I gave the game score for that was a three of a quarter of a thumb up, and its uh, offering was a three quarter of a thumb up. Uh, so overall, pretty good. And then our next game was uh, Stranded Deep, uh, a good old uh, survival uh, simulator. Well, it's not a simulator, it's a survival game when you're on an island, you've got to survive and uh, get to uh, other islands. Uh, that's pretty good. Um, not, 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 not the greatest game like, for me personally, so I gave that as a game score. I gave that a uh, thumb in the middle, and I gave the offering score of that as a thumb in the middle as well. Uh, and then we got Wreckfest. Even though I'm playing the PS4 version, uh, I really, really have enjoyed this game. Uh, the game score was a three quarter thumb up, and the offering score was a thumb up. So an overall score for the month. I feel like the the uh, the game score is going to be a three quarter of a thumb up, and I think the offering for the month is a three quarter of a thumb up. So a pretty solid month. Um, yeah, it's much better than last May. That May 2020 was absolutely terrible. Anything that involves a uh, farming simulator should be burnt to hell. So yeah, uh, much better, much en more enjoyable month uh, of games to play. Anyway, uh, so that is May's PS Plus plays done. Another one done. Uh, till my next video, guys. Take care. Look after yourselves. And I shall see you soon. Goodbye.